Hey guys, BB Stein with a video about chipsets and what's coming up. And this is just from stuff which I've read up online, stuff I've researched, stuff I've looked up, things I've heard. So take all this with a pinch of salt. Doesn't mean it's re doesn't mean it's legitimate. Doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. It's not fact. Whatever. All right. I reckon that we will be seeing the X99 platform and the 1090FX chipset in about April, May next year. The main reason I think of this is just because of DDR4. DDR4 has been on the horizon since last year. I think last November I think people started showing engineering samples at uh, trade shows and that kind of thing. Unfortunately, um, DDR4, if it's anything like DDR3 when it first came out, DDR3 was very expensive, it was not as fast as some high-end DDR2 chips. Uh, I remember I had some Crucial Ballistics which was at 1200 MHz, and I think DDR3 started at, what, 1066? So it was slower, cost much, cost a lot more, almost twice as much in some cases. So yeah. Um, but I do believe it will be coming out soon, because if you look at Crucial Ballistic, actually no, just Crucial, sorry, uh, their website, they're a memory vendor, they have like a little diagram, or picture, whatever, whatever you want to call it, showing the leaps in memory, and they have DDR14 as Brenner's 2013, coming soon, at the end of that year. And, you know, AMD and Intel will be wanting to jump on that bandwagon, and release a new chipset for them. Which is great. Because I think both of them have hit a wall at some uh, in one way or another. Uh, I think AMD has definitely hit a wall. If you look at the FX 9590 at 5 gigahertz, which I don't think any review I've seen have actually been able to overclock that to 5.2 or 5.3. It's always been 5.10 or something like that. Not much. It's always been quite a low overclock. So yeah, that that CPU has quite literally hit the thermal limits of how it can go. And yes, and to be honest with you, I think I can redo that CPU, add maybe two more cores and make the first 10 core processor, but to be honest with you, I don't think that's really uh, going to happen. And I don't think it's necessary to happen, because I think 8 cores is more than enough for most people, unless you're rendering I suppose, but if you're just doing what I'm doing, playing games and multitasking at the same time, you don't really need anything more, any more powerful than that. And yeah, that's... AMD, so they've hit the wall, so they need to release a new chipset, new processor, maybe it can base, be based on the same architecture, but maybe they can refine it, make it smaller, more energy efficient, maybe even release, I don't know, like a, um, maybe a slightly, if they release another 8 core, but it'd be faster, for single thread performance, I think they would be golden, if they had a, had a low price as well, that would even be even better to be honest with you. I don't know how they would do this, but that's up to them. Intel. The X79 platform is showing its age. Let's just face it, it only has two SATA ports, which are 6 gigabyte, unless you have a certain board with a, another chip on it from another uh, company to provide you the extra SATA ports, which are at 6 gigabit. Uh, let's face it, they are also doing second revisions of mobile boards which are already being released, like uh, Asus is one of the main ones who are doing this, like releasing the Deluxe model again, but in gold and black, instead of blue and black. They've seemed to have gone from blue and black to gold now, for some reason, I don't know why. I'm not a big fan of gold mobile boards and that kind of thing, doesn't matter. And they've also released the second edition of the, well, the black edition of the Rampage 4, which is kind of an indicator that we're coming to the end of X79, because if you remember when the Rampage 3 Black Edition came out for the X58 chipset, the X79 was literally around the corner. It was coming. It was literally five, six months away before that, that actually got released. And I kind of think a lot of people got their hands burnt on that one. And also, when you think about the processors on different platforms from Intel, like the newest um, i7, the the 4770K has better single thread performance than the 4960X, which is kind of depressing when you think about it because, yeah, I mean, your, your big extreme processor has been beaten by something which is almost, what, a third of the price? That's going to hurt. 
So clearly the Infusus platform for Intel has seen its day, needs to be significantly updated. And I think they're just literally holding off until DDR4 is kind of nailed down, being perfected, and maybe even... Um, Maybe I've, I do, but I do believe that both of these platforms will come out. I think I think maybe AMD might come out first to try to get their leg up on the competition, and maybe have a little bit of a head start, or vice versa with Intel. Maybe they might do it first, but it's definitely coming because DDR4 is the newest technology to come out, and let's face it, they've got to try to keep these memory vendors happy because they they they, they provide their memory. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening. Please rate. Even if you hate the video, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. That would help. And yeah, thanks guys.